Good evening from Universal Orlando. It has been a while since we have filmed here. Um, we've actually come to Mardi Gras several times. We haven't done much of the food yet, but we were in the parade. We've seen the parade. We've multiple times. We have been to Curse Coconut multiple times. And I don't know, we've just been here, but we haven't been here for long visits. We've done a lot of dining in City Walk, and we just like run in here for like half an hour. So we haven't filmed in a while, which is what we're now doing today. So there's about two or three weeks left of Mardi Gras, but we haven't, again, had much of the food booth. So we're, get, we're definitely gonna be trying some of that today. We already have one of the dining gift cards that we bought one of, during one of our prior trips. So I wanna try some more food. We've had some food today. I don't know if we'll be repeating any of it, but what we've had so far has been good. We had, we had the fries, the truffle frites or whatever they were called with the dipping sauce from Denmark. I think it was Denmark. It was back by Fear Factor. Um, uh, it might have been Belgium. Whichever booth it was, they've had it before. They're okay. They're nothing like amazing. But we had the Japan booth. That changed my life. We had a Bao Bun sampler and a Ube ice cream bubble waffle cone. That ice cream was 10 out of 10. So hopefully we'll have some other good things today. We did film on St. Patrick's Day. We came here with Morgan and we had dinner at Finnegan's and we filmed Cursed Coconut, but it wasn't enough for its own video. So I'm gonna put all that content in now and then we're gonna head over to the tribute store on the way to get some food. Alright, here is the, a look at the menu, it's super dark and hard to read here in Cursed Coconut, but they've got a few signature drinks. Amanda keeps getting the Scarlet one, she's a fan of that. I got the Cafe Brulot the first time, and then the Salzerac the second time I, or no, the Voodoo Bijou the second time I came. And then today, Morgan and I both got the Bayou Thunder. And so far, every drink I've had from here has been really good, I'm a fan of them all. They have, the only seasonal draft beer they have is the same one you can find in the park, it's the Purple Haze, but they do have some seasonal wines as well. And then here's a look at the Bayou Thunder, and then there's the, what is it, Scarlet? <laughs> it's just very hard to see. It's kind of purple-y, but you can't tell. I've asked how to pronounce it, and they usually just say, I don't know, whoever you want to say it. Yeah, Vive or Vivi. Tender said V. Maybe it's a It's whatever your heart desires. We've had our drinks, we've made it into Universal, heading towards Finnegan's, and the parade, we timed great, it's about halfway done, and we won some beads. What better way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day than with some Mardi Gras beads? I just love the music from this parade.
we've escaped the parade because we entered at the end of the parade, made our way back to the front of the parade, had a hard time weaving through the crowd, but we've done it. We are here at Finnegan's. It smells great out here. I don't know <laughs> what I'm smelling. Irish jig. Oh, okay. We're going to be getting our fish and chips. We got all the Irish jigs going on. And Amanda dropped her phone. This is off to a great start. But yeah, I think we're all getting fish and chips. It's going to be delicious. Great way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. All right, we are at our table at Finnegan's. It did take like half an hour to get seated, so they're popping today. Last time we came, it was dead. But Morgan and I both got... I, of course, it's probably, yeah, that's what we expected. Um, but yeah, we got a green drink. Why not? Um, it's called, I already forget, the Green Tea Clover. And it has Midori, it's got peach schnapps, it's got Irish whiskey. So I think I'm gonna like, I didn't try it yet, but I love whiskey, I like, I like melon, I like peach, it should be good. Okay, Morgan says it's good. And I love the color, very festive for today. So the Brown Derby reopened today as we're passing it. Um, I saw posts about it. It temporarily reopened as a prop shop and now it's just like kids clothing. So I heard that the exit store at Minions Mayhem, which we have not ridden in a very long time, used to be like all different Illumination merch. It is exclusively Minions now. So like they had Sing merchandise and Secret Life of Pets, all of it's gone. So I think a lot of it got moved to the Brown Derby. But we're heading into the tribute store. It's in a new location this year. Obviously, I know we've said that before. So it's now here across from Five and Dime. It feels a little bit smaller than the old location, but still pretty fun. I wouldn't say this front room's as themed. It just looks like the pass holder lounge, but we'll see what the next one looks like. Maybe the next one will be a little more exciting. But we are in the ambassador ballroom. I feel like I remember filming it, but I can never remember. You know, when we filmed and when we didn't. This candle smells good. This is a pass holder exclusive. It almost... What do you think it smells like? I, I was going to say like king cake. It's kind of like cinnamon, yeah. Um, because we really haven't filmed much here yet, um, this year's theme for Mardi Gras was the, I think, mythical realms of Mardi Gras. So it's a lot of like mythical an animals, unicorn, dragons etc. So that's what a lot of this merch is. It's already 30% off even though again there's still about I want to say three weeks left but they're already starting to discount it. I don't think this collection has been selling that much so I think that might be why but there is still a lot of really cool merch. They still got all the masks like they normally have, the beads of course, and your more generic merchandise that just features you know King Gator of course. They do still have these cup carriers which I bought at the beginning of Mardi Gras. I love these. They started them at Horror Nights and they had one for the holidays and now they have one for Mardi Gras. So if you have a freestyle cup or if you get the Blinky cup for the Mardi Gras booths, they both fit in there, which is really convenient. All different candles. There's a King of the Bayou one. There is, this one just says Mardi Gras scented. Uh, louder, wilder and spicier. I don't know, there's a bunch. They all smell pretty good. We haven't bought any this year though. And continuing Universal's trend of finally having official spirit jerseys. They have a Mardi Gras spirit jersey, which I do own. Pretty simple, which I like. Just Universal's Mardi Gras. But I love that they are official spirit jerseys. And then some fun bedazzled hats. And a nice mirror. Yeah. Looks like some earrings and such. And then the second room, you're kind of like in the alley. So we actually have the bead tree, which I thought was super fun to include the bead tree in the tribute store. Oh, I like these Mardi Gras rubber ducks. Never really paid attention to those, but it is kind of weird laying in here. So a little hard to see everything. What are we looking at? <gasps> Gerg the Llama, <laughs> Earl and friends. Earl plays the saxophone confirmed. I think he plays them all. Well, it's the Earl and Friends Quintet. So I don't know who his friends are. Hopefully we find out someday. They have that alligator hat that's always here. Iconic. Every year they have that hat. Lots of miscellaneous stuff. Nothing that's like universal branded other than 
some more candles. So many candles. But yeah, just a lot of cool, like, more homemade kind of feeling stuff, which is fun. A lot of light up stuff if you want to have it for the parade, which does start in about half an hour or so. We'll see if I film part of it. We're hoping to go maybe to some of the food booths and avoid some long lines during the parade. Okay, we got one of the two Multimatic machines. Now, for this tribute store, rather than like the artwork that they used to have in the hallway, they did custom prop bottles, which is a little more exciting, I think. You get, and obviously anybody who bought this does get it at the end of the tribute store after Mardi Gras ends. And it's a little more exciting, I think, than, you know, just like a picture, which we did for the holiday tribute store, the picture with Earl, which we have, and I'm excited to put it up in our house during the holiday season. But I hope they can do more of this where it's a little more unique. Um, Jaden did do it. <gasps> they moved him. Oh, there he is. So he's on a bottle. It looks like they maybe rotated this whole display is what I think happened. But yeah, he has this tall bottle right here in the front and he will receive it in the mail once this tribute store does close. But I don't know, I will say the artwork this year um, I think I've liked prior years a little bit more. Like, I don't love this King Gator design, so... There wasn't a ton I bought. I'm currently wearing the Cursed Coconut Club shirt, so I loved that. I love Cursed Coconut. love all the Coconut Clubs. So, that was the one I opted for, but there is definitely a lot to choose from. Hello. Still, of course, all kinds of baked goods. F oh, it's a very colorful fudge. But... Yeah, lots of stuff. Massive mug, if you want a really giant mug. There's the front of the spirit jersey. And some more of the stuff that we saw in the first room. And then, of course, registers on the way out. Okay, we are making our way back past UT, and we're going to maybe work our way back to front. So there's a couple booths back by Men in Black. We'll start back there and then see what we pass, see what sounds interesting. Here's our first booth we're seeing, Mexico, over here. I don't know what that door is that's open. Is it? No, it's just a bar. I'm gonna say Cafe La Bamba does not appear to be open. But... Amanda said she's starving. I'm starving. I'm hungry too. Oh, I didn't show, which... It's right there. That's, I'm not gonna, like, focus on people, but... That sh shirt that we just passed, a couple people wearing it, said, see you in the fog. That's the preview merch that just came out for Horror Nights. So there is technically already Horror Nights merchandise for this year that you can buy. I don't ever buy any of the preview merch, but I'm hoping that's the new tagline they're going with this year, the see you in the fog. I've gotten really tired of the never go alone. It was not really a tagline I was a fan of. So hopefully see you in the fog is the replacement. Sounds better to me. But I know this whole area has kind of been changing week by week, so obviously Kid Zone is gone. Nothing left, except for the roller coaster that's getting rethemed. Yeah, it's going to be rethemed to Trolls. And all I've heard is that people are begging for them to name it the Troller Coaster, and I absolutely approve. But they just redid the exit of E.T., so like that whole area is kind of you know, adapting to construction. So they're moving things around to try to make that walkway as wide as possible. But anything we want from here? Reading. I see a little cheese bread, which like, I, I need cheese bread in my life, but interesting. It's $11 and it looks like you get two bites of meat though. Hmm, doesn't seem filling. Teardrop chicken fritters. That's the, tr the trick, or not the trick, but the challenge is figuring out which ones are worth the money portion-wise and which ones are not. Oh, I know there's also a booth back past, behind this, um, behind the bushes, remember, when we did the parade viewing? Oh, yeah. I don't remember what that booth was. Let's see what that menu has. And there's one over here on the left, Trinidad, that's a food truck. But there is a booth right, you, yeah, so you pay right here by the entrance of Animal Actors. And then you pick it up back there. Okay, Columbia booth. That could be good. Wonder what they have. Ooh, do we want that? Okay, we want that. Okay, here's a look at the empanadas from the Colombian booth. You could choose between beef and chicken, so we got one of each. They are out of arepas. 
which is tragic. But yeah, it was eight bucks. They're not very large. Um, like, which, I've never seen an empanada. No, they're little baby empanadas. I mean, I hope they're good. I'm sure they will be. I just feel like overall, SeaWorld and Universal always had bigger portions. Universal's starting to shrink them to Epcot standards. So I'm just kind of curious throughout tonight as we're trying different things, which ones are bigger and which ones are worth the money because a lot of these seem to be smaller than prior years. All right, that did not take long. Oh, are we trapped? Are we sit there or how do we get out? I don't know. I'm confused. So much confusion. Let's try to leave. <laughs> no. Okay, we we escaped. Amanda, what? How full are you after those empanadas? Oh my gosh, I can't eat it. One more thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I would not recommend those. <laughs> They were fine. Like they weren't bad, but they were. There was no filling. It was just yeah. It was very bland. Not. We had the empanada last year, or not the empanada. We had the arepa last year. That was amazing. Like that was a ten out of ten. If it's the same as last year, absolutely get that. That was really good. Um, empanadas were just very small, very bland, and not worth the money. So, would not recommend that one. Off to a sad start, but. There's got to be some gems here because Japan was good. So I know some other booths are going to be good. We just have to find them. So there's a couple back here by Men in Black. We just, yeah. We're both hungry and that did not, <laughs> that did not suffice. So moving on to the next one. Okay, so some more booths are up here. I stopped to fill my freestyle cup that I brought with me with water. And the freestyle machines have mezzo mix now and I don't know how to digest this information. Mesomix is a soda I had when I was in Germany that I'm obsessed with. Oh yeah, we should try that. This is Germany booth, by the way. Here's our Germany booth haul. So we just got the two, they have two food items. They have the schnitzel. I didn't see what it comes with, but it, it looks like a mac and cheese. Like I might be crazy, like a... Okay, we're, we're looking up what that one is. Then we also got the potato pancakes, which does come with apple butter. I'm very excited for both these. They already, especially the schnitzel, looks like a much bigger portion. Baked spatzo. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, I mean, it says beer cheese sauce, so it's like a cheesy noodle, so it's kind of like a mac and cheese. I don't remember the price on these, though, but I could tell you it's a better value than what the empanada was. <laughs> All right, moving on to Denmark now. No, we were much happier with the Germany booth. I would get both of those again. Those were definitely recommended. Um, but yeah, Denmark has these meatballs with Danish gravy you want to try. Last time we, the very first time we came to Mardi Gras, we got the those french fries I mentioned. They were from the Belgian booth. So, did confirm that. But now we're going to get some meatballs. Here is a look at the meatballs. This was also eight fifty. dollars It looks like you get three. So I'd say one of the smaller portions. But no, we'll it was cheaper. Oh. oh, oh, with the discount. It was cheaper, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but I did overhear somebody that was standing there was asked how your meatballs were, and he said, flawless, best $8.50 I've ever spent. Oh, okay. We'll find out if that was sarcastic or not, but if that's true, <laughs> could make up for the price. So they look good, I'll say that. And it has okay. gravy, and then it had, what dill. else was on top? Apple butter apple again. Apple butter, that's the, squir the squirrel. Yep. That's apple butter and dill. Okay, looks good. Okay, the verdict is in. Yum. Get them. Yeah. <laughs> That's my answer. Pretty good. Definitely worth it. That was a good, the gravy was very good. It's happening. Oh, it's so exciting. This is like Coke mixed with orange soda, right? Yeah, I've been doing it by all my own for years. Like just mixing Coke and Fanta. The, and it looks like stuff. it's here to stay now at Universal Resort. Oh my god, this is like a game change. Yeah? Why? Well, they just really like Really? It's just basically cocoa fans, but that's what it is. And it makes me very happy. Can I taste it? Yeah. <laughs>
All right, Amanda wanted the authentic Mardi Gras experience. Oh, there goes still walkers from the parade. But we stopped at the bar over here by Transformers, and this is where you can get the crawfish boil. Neither of us have ever had it. I I don't know if I'm gonna try it or not. I'm not really, I do eat shrimp, but I don't like crab lobster or anything. So I don't know if it'd be something that I would like, but Amanda likes all of that. So she's gonna try some crawfish. And then you said it came with potatoes, sausage, and corn on the cob as well. Oh my God, that's so weird. Oh yeah, and there's shrimp in there too. You could get one or the other or both, right? And I think it was 16 ish before discount, roughly $16, because it's obviously, a, you know, you're getting a good bit of seafood here, so pretty good portion for the price. The parade has ended. Amanda has had her crawfish. What do you think? Yummy. I need to wash my hands though. It did look messy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's part of what you're signing up for though. But we're now heading towards the front. We're not leaving it. It's only 8.30. Park is open until 10 p.m. tonight. But there's still more booths up here. I'm hoping they all stay open longer. I don't, I don't know when they close. I'm hoping they're open till park closing because we want to try more stuff. So we're going to go to the bathroom first over by Jimmy Fallon. Then we're gonna get in line for some more booths. I do want to definitely get some beignets. I know there's Twisted Tater up here as well. And King Cake. I don't know what else is on is at these booths in the front. So we'll take a look at the menu, see what else we wanna try. But they do have up here in the front now, they finally installed the new food booths. So the two food booths that were over here back by where like the old tribute store was located, they removed those a few weeks ago and entirely new booths just finally got installed and they look really fun and they haven't opened yet but the menus sound amazing one of the food the booths is like pizzas and calzones and then the other one i don't remember the full menu i just remember it has arepas so that's like a permanent food item now which sounds really exciting because universal's arepas are good so hopefully they open soon, but there is freestyle machines there that finally replaced the missing ones that got taken out of Monsters Cafe. So I'm gonna go get some more Mezzo Mix and then we'll try some more food. Now it is pretty dark. Park is definitely thinning out because the parade's over, but we're looking at the Minions Cafe construction so we can finally start to see kind of an idea of what this building will end up looking like. They're weatherproofing it finally. Still a lot of scaffolding up. It's nowhere near ready. But they did repaint the entire wall right here of the Transformers building. So it all was that gray, you know, nest design. And now this one wall, the rest is all still themed to Transformers, but the one that will be the kind of backdrop of Minions Cafe got painted like a very like bright, cartoony kind of sky blue which looks kind of cool. I assume that's the finished product. A lot of people thought they were like doing a base coat, but I think they're just going to try to have it match minions more, which I'm here for. So yeah, they had projections on men in black as well. So everyone's getting, Oh, they're setting up the booths. There's like food going in. So these may, they might open like any day now. So there's this menu. So we've got New York pizza slices, which is mozzarella, cheese combo with chips so just the cheese pizza 10.99 with chips 13.99 or pepperoni is a dollar more then they've got calzone spinach mushroom ricotta and mozzarella cheese with marinara sauce and then you can get a combo with a salad 11.99 without 16.99 with the salad yeah and they've got a apple streusel mousse chips apple caesar salad sides and gelato it all sounds really good. And then they've got two beers on draft, a couple bottled beers, and then of course, sodas and water. And then the other new booth, I think is where the freestyle machines are. And that one does have a completely different menu. Now this is of course where the tribute store used to be right here on the end in the Stein and Co building. It is now reclaimed by Mummy as extended queue. So that's what that building ended up getting used for. Oh, we got the Puerto Rico booth. Oh, they've got a pina colada. Maybe I'll get that in my Blinky Cup. That could be good. I haven't filled my Blinky Cup yet. I haven't decided what I wanted. But let's go find Freestyle. 
a little busy over here, over by Mummy. But we've got a bunch of booths on this strip, of course. This is the Canada booth, so they have a poutine. All right, so here's the 57 fare. This is the one that I got excited for. So we've got queso arepas, a, a beef filled potato, chicken and cheese empanadas. Then we've got a caramel flan, pineapple cup, some more beers, chips, and a mango ice push pop. So again, totally for menu. This one's more New York themed, kind of like Subway vibes, which is really fun. But they all have these travel posters on the backs of them and they're really nice looking. So really kind of cool upgrade compared to what the old booth looked like. And then we've got our new freestyle machines back here. All right, so after Amanda had her crawfish boil, I wanted one more thing before we maybe get dessert. So I went and got the shrimp gumbo from the French Quarter Market up here in the front of the park. It does smell good. So it's got shrimp, white rice, veggies, um, Cajun seasoning. The other option at this booth was the... I already forgot, jambalaya, right. And it was topped with a crawfish, which is the reason I didn't want it. But both of them were six something. 6.99. So the other one got you a full crawfish included. Um, so if you don't want like the full boil, you could get one crawfish from here if you just want to try it. But not too bad price-wise for the serving. And then I did get the pina colada from the Puerto Rico booth. It's not frozen, obviously. None of the Blinky Cup drinks are. But it's really good. It's just it, you can definitely taste that it. it's fresh pineapple juice with some rum in it. All right. I originally kind of wanted to end the night with all of our Mardi Gras food with beignets, but the beignets are apparently only available from the, the bar by Transformers that we got the crawfish from, which we heard close in 8.30. So, naturally, the only other option was to get the ube ice cream again that changed our lives. So I did want to at least show what it looked like. We've already had it. We know it's a 10 out of 10, but it's ube ice cream in the bubble waffle cone. There's like an Oreo dusting on top, and then it comes with Pocky. And it's so good. So we're gonna devour this. That is going to be it for this universal update with Mardi Gras. I'm filming this much later and we haven't gotten a video up in a while. Um, but hopefully this is coming better late than never. Mardi Gras has ended by now, but it definitely still gives an idea of what Mardi Gras Universal is like. Mardi Gras, I'm sure we'll be back next year. And a lot of the food is repeated over time. The parade, has a new theme each year, but it's still the same idea. So Mardi Gras at its core will return. We had a great time going this year. We, we did get to go several times. A lot of them were pretty quick visits, but we did ultimately get to try a decent bit of the food. We went to Curse Coconut many times. The tribute store was fun in the new location, and we loved the parade. Loved getting to be in it for the first time. We'll definitely be doing that again. And yeah, all around it was a fun time. Now, since Mardi Gras has already ended. We did already get confirmation. Um, Universal has told team members that the tribute store will be changing for the summer, as we expected, and it will be Jurassic Park themed for the 30th anniversary of the original movie. So I'm very excited for that because I did have a Jurassic World Velocicoaster tribute store the summer that Velocicoaster opened, and it was amazing. So I assume this will obviously be different, being more for the movie than the ride, but still Jurassic Park. So. Very excited to see that. So we'll definitely be back at Universal soon. I'm hoping they'll do a Jurassic Coconut Club because that would be awesome. I love all of the different themed coconut clubs now. And just, yeah, we'll be definitely back at Universal, being in all the parks, of course. Our next video, actually, a few days from now, will be Discovery Cove. Um, so we're going back there finally, possibly. <laughs> um, we are going, we have it booked, but it is supposed to rain all day. So if the weather, doesn't go in our favor, we'll probably have to reschedule, but hopefully the weather turns out to be nice and we will be there at Discovery Cove. We'll give a 2023 update since a lot has changed since our last time there, as well as we have our Alaska cruise coming up in less than a month. So there will definitely be lots of vlogs coming from our Alaska cruise. So we'll be heading out to Vancouver, going on the Disney Wonder, which I have been on once before. Amanda has never been on it, but very excited to film from the wonder for the first time. We're going to celebrate my dad's birthday, so it'll be an amazing cruise. So lots of fun stuff on the way. Definitely subscribe if you want to see any of that content coming soon. And give this video a like if you enjoyed a look at Mardi Gras. Um, it was split up over a couple different visits, but hopefully we get to show a little bit of everything. And it is one of our favorite times of the year to go to Universal, so definitely check it out in the future if you can. That's going to be it for today, so thanks for watching. 
and we will see you guys next time we go to Disney and beyond.